If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In today's video, we are diving into the brand new agent development kit from Google. It's just announced at Cloud Next 2025. This open source framework makes it super easy to build powerful production ready AI agents and even build full multi agent systems. Whether you are a beginner or experienced developer or tester, EDK gives you all the tools you need to create smart, flexible AI that can talk and delicate tasks and run anywhere. Now we are going to see how I leveraged Agent Development Kit for performance testing. So if you go to this website, google.github.io, the Agent Development Kit website, you can learn more about how you can get started, API reference, and some quick start guide and tutorial, etc. So based on this, I quickly uh, able to build a Featherband agent. So this is the repo. So as you know, I am building a Jmeter agent and also a Jmeter chat box for the to interact with AI within Jmeter. You can download in Jmeter plugins. And as a part of that initiative, I built this. So this is a comprehensive uh, agentic tool uh, which helps you to run performance testing monitoring and also debugging. It has four pillars, mainly four tools, Jmeter, K6, Gatling and Locust. So everything you can do it in single interface and also you can analyze results, you can talk and then you can upload files. So you will get all the bells and whistles of agent development kit. So this is the repo. If you just read it, you will be able to get started with easily. So first step is you have to install all the prerequisites. So this agent development kit is based on Python. So you need Python and you need to install all the relevant tools. Jmeter, K6, Maven or Gradle for Gatling and Locust. So once you install all the relevant tools, then very first step is to you need to navigate to Google console to get the API key. So there are two flavors. One is if you are using Gemini via Google AI Studio, then you need to set this to flags false. This flag is false and you have to configure the API key. So all you need is you need to go to Google AI Studio and create an API key. And if you're using Gemini via Vertex AI uh, on Google Cloud, then you need to configure the project ID, the location, the region, and the use Vertex AI equals true. So to get started, let us just go with uh, aistudio.google.com, create an account, and then log in. Here you can see at the top right, get API key. So just uh, click on get API key and create an API key. So here you need to configure the project. So for this, you need to go to uh, Google Cloud Platform and you need to configure the project. And uh, there are two things you need to take care of whether you want to stay in free tier or you want to go with billing. So billing means you get some higher uh, priority, the tier one and above. And if, you, if it is a free trial, then uh, you, the rate limits will be limited. So once you created the API key and once you clone the repository here and once you install all the PIP requirements, copy this env example and put it in your .env file and then configure the relevant uh, information. Now let us dive into what's there inside this .env.example. So here again, as I mentioned, you need to configure the Google API key and the whether you are going to use Vertex or not. And then you have to configure the Featherband uh, configuration. So here you have to configure which model you're going to use. What is the uh, name of the agent description? And for each tool, you have to configure the home and other parameters. For example, in case of Jmeter, you need to configure the home directory of Jmeter and bin directory and other Java options. And similarly for K6, again, K6 bin. And for Locust, again, Locust bin, Locust host, uh, users, and for Gatling, again, you need to configure the Gatling runner. So whether you are going to use Maven or you are going to use a Gradle. So right now I have configured only these two. There are other ways to run. For example, you can use uh, NPX, Yarn and all, but I did not add it. In case uh, if you really require, please raise an issue. I will take care. So now let us go to the source code. So before that, let me just uh, continue with this, uh, how to start the agent. So once you configure everything, and only command you need is uh, ADK web, agent development kit, space web, and it will, by default, it will launch it in the local host uh, 8000, and you can inter interact with the chat interface. 
and uh, in the demo section you will see how you can execute this but here i have given some example command so you have to run in uh, non gui for jmeter you can just say run my jmeter test and this is the path and if you want to run in gui mode you can just mention gui mode then it will launch jmeter similarly k6 default values or if you want to configure something like 50 users for two minutes you can do that automatically it will leverage the parameters and similarly for locust similarly for gatling and once the test is done it will display the results and then you can ask follow-up questions for example uh, what's going on with my performance why there is a high, high response time why the response uh, errors are high so you can ask some thoughtful questions to get some recommendations from the ai and this is the structure and if you want to uh, run the uh, tests if you're developing you can use the uh, playtest and if you want to contribute please contribute to this project okay now let us go inside the source code so here as you see uh, under sample i have configured uh, sample uh, test files you can use this for testing purpose and very first uh, the line of execution is init so in it we are importing the agent so if you go to agent again you can see uh, each uh, tool has the relevant call and at the end you can see the root agent so root agent is comprises of these many tools in case if you don't want to use any of the tool you can just comment it out or you can just remove it and similarly if you go to each tool for example jmeter.utils and here you can see how it is executing basically it will fetch the file uh, it will read it and then it will configure the uh, java parameters and then it will execute and then it will return the value similarly for other tools and if you want to customize the prompt again if you, you can come here prompt.py and you can uh, configure here but i recommend please do not, do not touch it unless you are you, you know what you are doing but this particular uh, prompt will definitely help you out to get the most of the ai things okay now let's jump to the demo so here i'm using pycharm you can use any uh, favorite editor so here you need to create a, a virtual environment which i already created and here dot vnv so you need to uh, enable it so you can use the source command to activate the uh, vnv now once it is done it's very simple you would just hit uh, enter after entering adk space web so this will start the uh, server web server and it will by default it will launch in uh, 8000 port now let us go to browser localhost and hit refresh so as you see here in the left side you get the toggle you can toggle on toggle off the menu and you can choose the agent you can have multiple agents and here you can see the events state artifacts session and uh, evaluation and by default it will create a new session as you see here the unique id and if you can create a new session by clicking on this plus every time it will generate a new uuid if you want to delete some session you can delete it so here you can upload files you can talk video so everything is available in here and also you can chat so now let us ask you know start with hello so here as you see the response is please provide the test file you'd like to use this is a required input to move forward so this is a response from the ai so how can you help me so here again the response is it helps you to run various tools jmeter k6 gatling and locus so this description is coming from the python file and let us start with a very simple you know jmeter test now let us go to pycharm and get the full path of this so run my jmeter test hello dot jmx hit enter so this will understand the context and as you see here the events steps you can just click here to see what's going on and you can navigate between uh, the events and it will uh, start executing and meanwhile you can also see the logs here and once the test is done it will automatically uh, displays the the output and then you can ask the follow-up questions so right now it is executing how.jmx with the default values let us wait once the test is done we can ask the follow-up questions so now as you see the test is done and in the left side you can see the event so this is the uh, root agent feather band and uh, these are the uh, sub agents so here as you see i cannot you know expand this but here it is displaying all the uh, steps uh, it should uh, take so in this case it is executing the jmeter 
So now as you see here, there is a, you know, there's some UA issue, that's fine. And here, the based on the results, the test ran for 30 seconds, process some 35 requests and average response time. And then it is asking, do you want to run any other test? And let us ask to execute a locust. Run my locust test. So again, we can ask hello dot by hit enter. It's okay, it is asking the follow-up question with the file name only. And it fetched the context and then uh, it will just uh, display the values here. So now as you see, uh, the context is now uh, locust test. And uh, once the test is done, it is displaying the summary. And then it is also displaying the, the path of the file. And then it is just giving the recommendations. So all request failed with the connection refused error. So now what we can do, we can ask, run it again. HTTPS example.com. So now it, it knows the context. So we are telling the AI to run it again, the host name example.com. So it knows the, you know, the previous conversation and then it is extracting the information and then it is performing the test. So now as you see here, it is a, running the test against uh, example.com and then it is providing the results. So like this, you can execute a Gatling and K6. I'm not going to do, we can just try it out. And the beauty of this here is uh, you will get the AI powered uh, analysis. So that is one big thing. And also it will help you to you know, debug. You can write uh, scripts in one window and then you can ask uh, AI to run it and then you will get the immediate feedback. We can also do manually, but AI with the help of you know AI companion, it will uh, help and it will boost your workflow. So that's the main idea of this. So this is just a beginning. It's just a prototype but you can use it in your uh, local. But if you have any idea, please let me know in the issue section or in the comments. And definitely I will check it out. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.